Okay, just a little bit about the ACG and uh, some of the tools that you can use to um, help you identify the rhythm. So, um, just uh, for the ACG quickly, you know, it's divided in boxes and there are lines. So, the pin of the ECG machine, it draws at the rate of a 25 millimeter um, uh, per second. And so that translate to a every small box equal to one fourth of a second which is 0 0.04 of a second each small box so a big box which contains five small boxes will equal to 0 0.2 seconds so this uh, measurement should help you when you if you have to measure the uh, let's say pr intervals or the qr it's the qrs width and so on so again each um one second equal five big boxes okay and that's why a six second rhythm it's a 30 box or a 30 big box we'll talk about that about that too so the other thing is when you notice if you look at the ecg rhythm or the ecg strip there's a little small mark just to help you to make it faster for you to calculate the time a small mark at the bottom between or every three seconds so if you look at the strip I'll bring this to the class if you look at the strip you will see this little mark and down there so um, when you have three of them three small that equal uh, two period of three seconds which is a total of six seconds and that's the period that we will use to calculate uh, for the quick calculation of uh, heart rate Vertically, the small box equal one um, uh, millimeter or one milli uh, v uh, volt. So each five of them equal to five millivolt. So here's again here's the ECG uh, paper. This is the small box that we talked about. This is a small box. Again, by when you when you look at vertically, it it is equal to 0.04 seconds. So each big small box is 0.2 seconds. Each ten of them will be um, two seconds, and so on. And so 30 will be six seconds. And as long as the uh, vertically each one is one millimeter or one millivolt, so a total of five will be five millimeter. Okay. Now. Uh, the this is important for the calculation of the rate and there are several methods for calculation of heart rate and I will give you all of them but I will tell you the easiest one and the quickest one but as far as uh, accuracy um, it's not necessarily the more accurate one now let, let me talk about one one by one so the first method is uh, it goes like this the first thing you, you look at the at the strip and you're gonna find one QRS that is drawn over a thick line as you see the lines there's there are the light lines which is in the small boxes and there are the thick lines which is at the beginning at the end at the end of the big boxes so you're gonna find like this QRS for this method this QRS doesn't work because it's in the middle the same thing here this one works because it is at the beginning of a thick line so you can highlight that as a start the next thick line represent a rate of 300 meaning if this qrs which is the following one follow the one that follows this one it's right here you will uh, estimate the heart rate to be at 30 if it's at this line you will estimate the heart rate to be 150 if it's at the, this line the heart rate is estimated to be 100 if it's at this line it will be about 75 so as it's just below before that so it would be something like close to 80 all right now the disadvantage of this one like what if you don't find a QRS that is a drone exactly over or on a thick line so yeah just this is just to expose you to this method this is not the best one the second method is to find two consecutive QRS mark them and then count the small boxes in between each of them okay and then you do uh, 1500 divided this number so the 1500 comes from again we look at six seconds because we believe that in six seconds you can see a full heart uh, rhythm so if you divide it six seconds by 0 0.04 which is how many how how long is each small box that will give you a total of 1500 so again for this method you just find uh, two QRSs and mark them and then count the number of small boxes in between 
and divide that by 1500 all you can do the same thing find two QRSs and count the big boxes and here you can use a 300 divided this number then give you a number let's just and see an example so let's see this one uh, here is is uh, this is a QRS and this is a QRS so we mark them and now we're gonna uh, count the big boxes in between so there's one here two three and four four of them so 300 divided by four that give you a 75 okay this is a heart rate now this could be seven to to be very accurate could be 77 could be 73 it doesn't matter here because what the wide range of the normal heart rate which is 60 to 100 it's a pretty wide so a plus minus two or three is fine now the problem becomes if you get the heart rate to be 60 because plus minus two may change the rhythm if it's 58 now now bradycardia if it's 105 now but if it's in the middle like here um this is acceptable and here's that for the other one again the same rhythm if you uh, mark two r's and then count the small boxes in between and here i found it to be 19 so 1500 divided by 19 then give you 79 see it's the same rhythm two different ways it gives you a little bit of difference this is more accurate the 79 but again whether it's 79 or 75 or 75 it doesn't matter for because of the wide range the last method which is the uh, easiest one is basically to count the numbers of hours in a six second rhythm or strip it must be six second which means that you should have uh, 30 big boxes so if you count these big boxes will be 60 uh, 30 of them because each one is 0.2 seconds so if you count again uh, this is a six second all what you need to do is to count the hours and times 10 and multiply that by 10 so that's the simplest one again just count how many hours total hours times 10 and then give you uh, the number so the heart rate in this rhythm it's 110 again you could try the r to r now this this area this this is the quick or the quickest um, method and also you can use it whether it's regular or irregular because if you go back to this method um, if these are not regular you can just pick any two R's because if there's another R here and you see that like if the distance between this one this one is three and a half boxes but happens to have another R here which make the rhythm irregular then you can't use it but in using this method it doesn't matter whether it's regular or irregular you can just count the R's so as you see here and multiply that by 10 and that give you the heart rate so let's just use just this method